Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. We're talking about discrete random variables um, in, in this chapter, and they are variables who num whose numeric value is based on the outcome of an event with an associated probability. X is going to be our random variable, and that can represent each of the possible outcomes. So for this example, we're looking at the cups of coffee sold, and all of our outcomes are up here at the top. And below is the probability that that would occur. So 30 cups, 36 cups, etc. And then they each have an associated probability. So what's the probability the cafe sold 36 cups of coffee? In order to find that, all you're doing is looking at the probability below it. So that'd be 0 0.20. What's the probability the cafe sold 36 or 48? So they could have sold 36, which would be 0.2, or they could have sold 48, which would be 0.15. And so all you're going to do there is just add those two probabilities together to get your 35% or 0.35. What's the probability that the cafe sold at least 48 cups of coffee? Well, at least means 48 or more. If, you have, if you're at least 21 to get into a bar, you could be older than that, right? So at least means 48 or more. In this case, we only have one category above 48, so point. 135 and 0.35. Now the next one I didn't actually cover it but that's fine. The probability that they sold at most 36. If the if the most you can be is 10 years old to get into kitty land you could be under that but that's the, top, the oldest you could be right. So when you say at most you're talking about the highest value. So they sold they could have sold 36 or they could have sold 30 and if you add those two probabilities together you get that. How many cups can they expect to sell on average? So for this one, we're going to use GeoGebra. And we should get 47.4, but let me show you how to use GeoGebra to do that. So let me swing that over here. Um, and then I'm going to go to GeoGebra.org and click on the graphing calculator. And I'm going to enter my set of data. And when I want to have a set of data, like all these possible outcomes, I'm going to call it something. I'm going to call it A. And I'm going to use the set uh, notation. And I'm going to enter my values, but I'm going to put a comma in between. No spaces, just a comma. So 30, 36, 42, 48. These were the numbers from the notes. And then I'm going to hit Enter. And then I'm going to come to and enter the second set, which is going to be the probabilities associated with those. Make sure you put them in the same order. So we have 0 0.05, we have 0 0.20, we have 0 0.25, whoops, 25, <clears throat> we have 0.15, and we have 0.35. So those are all the probabilities that go with all those possible outcomes. And now I want to find the expected value. Now, expected value is just a weighted mean. So I'm going to find the mean. And if you click, if you type in mean, you will see you could just have a list if you just wanted to find the average of a bunch of salaries or something. But we want to find the mean uh, using a list of numbers and their frequencies or probabilities in this case. So I'm going to do A comma B. So I'm going to put the parentheses in A comma B. And I'm going to show you there that we did get the 47.4. The other thing they're asking for on the sheet is the standard deviation. Standard deviation, I'm going to type STDE, and you can see that I have some choices here. You can see two of these look very similar, but this is the standard deviation for the um, <clears throat> sample and we have an entire population of coffee values here so we want to find STDEVP so I'm going to type that in and I think you don't get the drop down list when you are on um, a phone so you kind of need to know uh, what you're typing in there and then we knew that that was A comma B just like the other one so the standard deviation is 10.2 and then if I wanted to find variance, I don't think you're asked for that, but we want to type in the word variance and then put in A comma B and we could get the variance uh, as well. So it's very easy to find those using GeoGebra. Let's go back to our list here for a second, our, our notes. The standard deviation we found to be 10.2. And so what does that actually mean? Well, if we're talking about cups of coffee, we're talking about whole cups of coffee. You can't sell 0.4 of a cup of coffee. But if I was a coffee owner and I had this data, then I would expect to sell 
um, or we could, I don't know why I left a comma out, but um, anyway, we would expect to sell about 47 cups a day. That was our expected value or our mean. We would expect to sell about 47 cups of coffee per day, and that average would vary between 37 and 57 because our standard deviation is, is 10 or about 10. So I would say 47 on a low day, 37 on a high day, 57. And that would kind of give me an idea of what we were going to sell for that. All right. Have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you next time.